Hello entrepreneurs and innovators. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some uh, some currently open funding opportunities that you can take advantage of. In this video, I'm very, very sure that there is actually a funding opportunity that match whichever uh, your gender, your academic qualification, your profession. There is actually, uh, I, I select this very well. There is actually a funding opportunity that actually fits you very, very well that I'm sure you can take advantage of. So without further ado, let me just dive into it. And the first one that I, I will talk, I'll be talking about is the, the Yali LC West Africa Emerging Leaders Program. So this Yali LC West Africa Emerging Leaders Program. So this is the selection process and the link is in the, uh, is in the comment section. You can check for it so we can check about what is yali what is all about we can check it is the the is the, the young african leader initiative was launched by the united by the united states government as a signature effort to invest in the next generation of african leaders so these african leaders you will actually submit uh you this who they look for uh people within the age of 18 to 35 from togo nigeria ghana and the likes who embrace leadership and work hard to transform their countries so this is the application where you apply so this is the selection criteria that is you have to demonstrate leadership in public service business and entrepreneurship or civic engagement uh, they have strong social and communication skill energetic and uh, positive attitude and then you'll be taken to a mentorship program and this is part of what you will be you will be learning the mentorship program these are uh, the these are the uh, selective courses we have some other major courses but you have to choose one out of this business and entrepreneurship civil society management public uh, public policy and management so that is one so let's go to another opportunity another opportunity is uh the world water challenge 2022 world water challenge 2022 is actually uh, uh a challenge that actually seek for people who can actually bring solution to water problems like irrigation problems all across the world for example we have countries that water is actually troubling them and maybe like erosion and things like that but you have a solution in your mind that, okay i can actually this is the solution then they can actually invite you over you talk about and if you win you get a price so this is the uh, water challenge you will be invited to to the to the to the edition and then you pitch whatever it is you want to pitch and then if you are selected you get the award so this is the this is it you get approximately uh, the best you get 7600 us dollar and then outstanding people will also get uh approximately 2200 us dollar so this is for this one the link is also in the comment section you can check that out and then going for that we also have the site development fellowship 2022-2023 so this is actually an african research excellence fund which they are pleased to launch the call for the 2022-23 rf research development fellowship program so the, the aim is to actually support researchers in africa who are emerging leaders and working on important challenges for human health to develop to develop their skills as a researcher so it actually offers a three to nine months placement at a leading research institution in the uk europe or africa with additional uh, with additional support at your home institution before and after the placement up to four thousand pounds available so this what this what uh this this everything you need to know about it the the comment uh, you can act the link to it is also in the comment section and, and and then going for that we also have this as well which is actually uh, relative to women we invest in your entrepreneur pot potential that is you pitch to them and then if you're actually successful then they actually pick you up so this is actually creating a new approach to funding early stage entrepreneurs using a remote data driven and largely automated investment selection process so this is actually one you can apply for so the reason why you should apply you can get a fund of 10 10 10,000 10, to 50,000 euros. Uh, they are, they, they, it's actually revenue based. They can actually purchase, purchase shares in your company. So there's no collateral. This is owned by us. And then who are the people that they finance? The people that they finance are you must register as limited. Then you must have you, have, you must have generated at least 10,000 here in the last 12 months. You must be operational for 12 to 48 months. You have, must have a well kept account. So this is actually uh, how it works. You, you create the account, you apply, and then if you are shortlisted, you shortlisted, they will conduct a comprehensive appraisal of your business. And then when you get access, and then you get access to your individual dashboard with helpful analytics and join the growing network of entrepreneurs. This is actually a this is actually a way to actually grow your network and network with other people. And then if your business is chosen, then you can actually get the funds. You can get people who will invest in your business. This is actually specific to, to women. And then going for that, we also have uh, this youth innovation challenge. 2022 UNDP Worker Youth Innovation Challenge. So this is uh, this is a United Nations Development Program 
uh, for sub-Sahara, for sub-regional, or for West and Central Africa. So this, this, they will actually have five, five, fan, uh, five finalists will be fully funded to participate and pitch their solution at the 2022 Youth Connect Kit Sahel uh, Forum in, in Germany. Uh, evaluation committees we identified 30 pre-selected youth to join the Worker Innovation Network and access peer-to-peer -peer learning, coaching, and training opportunities. So this just how to apply. You upload the video pitch of no more than two minutes. You fill out the form at this link, and then you submit it. This is the guideline as well. So this is the uh, schedule for for the uh, for the opportunity. So that is for that. It's actually something that you should actually go forward. Is actually to support transformative innovation and resilience of young people from West and Central Africa. So this is for this. If you have any idea that you can pitch, so the best existing solutions in the following thematic areas. They actually have a thematic areas when digital transformation, COVID nineteen recovery, health, education, peace and security, cultural, creative, heart, agroforestry and climate change. So that is for this. So, and then last one, this for is open to developers from all over the world. You may participate in the contest on your own or as part of a team. Uh, and then after you register, you get your highway ID, and then you must be this age, and you must not be this, you must not be that. So it's for developers, and these are what they will, the judges will actually judge. They will judge for the best HMS Innovation Award, which will win $15,000, and best app, Three people will win best app, fifteen thousand dollars as well. Three people for this as well, and then best game, three people fifteen thousand dollars, and the likes. The co the link to this is also in the comment section. And then going forward, we also have uh, the uh, we have uh, the United States African Development Foundation, the U.S. African Development Foundation, U.S. ADF, and smallholder irrigation uh, revitalization program. They are also inviting proposals from African Cooperative, Producer Group, Registered Irrigation Shames, Farmer Group Associations. So this is actually about something related to water, to farming, to irrigation, and things like that. So you can apply. And these are the countries that they want. Burkina Faso, they have different link for the for different companies. So we have Burkina Faso, this is the link, Burundi, Libya, Liberia, Rwanda, and this other. These are the countries they want. So you can apply, and then if you are choosing the maximum, uh, uh, the maximum award amount is two fifty thousand dollars. If you want that, and then going forward, we also have uh, the MEST apply for the MEST African Challenge. The MEST African Challenge, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the is, uh, is actually a precede seed to seed stage technology startups in Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, Kenya, and South Africa. These people are invited to participate in the regional com uh, competition. So. It's actually relevant to uh, technology, people in technology. So in Nigeria, uh, Kenya, South Africa, Senegal. So in each country, there will be a pitch of ideas, and then two finalists will be selected in each country. And then uh, the two finalists will be sponsored to Accra, Ghana, where the invest will be held. And then they will have the judges, and the eventual winner will go home with uh, $50,000 in equity. So that is for the MEST. And then the link is also in the comment section. And then going for the, the Arms Labs Lagos Tech Start Accelerator. The Arms Labs Lagos Tech Start Accelerator. This actually uh, is, is for everybody in Africa, though it's in Lagos, Nigeria. So Tech Start Accelerators have one goal to help entrepreneurs succeed. So during it, it will actually it's a three month program whereby they, they surround you with companies, um, best mentors, and an unrivaled uh, network of corporate partners, investors, and, and alumni. And they also provide funding and fundraising opportunities, workshop and curated resources, not to mention countless moments where you can learn from, from your peers. So it actually has to tech, uh, tech, the, uh, tech start resources for life. You have access to tech start resources for life. So it's actually a 90-day tech start mentoring giving accelerator program with, pa with personal men mentorship and office space. So these are the opportunities. These are what to look out for. So I think this is also for people who are actually in, in the uh, in fintech and pop tech companies based in Africa. So you have to be in, you have to be in, in the aspect of fintech and pop tech and based in Africa. And then going forward, we, so this is another one. We have IHS to our technical uh, uh, skills acquisition program. Uh, it's TSAP is an intense five month program for young engineering graduates to grow their careers in the largest indiv uh, independent tour company in Nigeria. The program aims to impart participants with knowledge, skills, and abilities to build, maintain, and efficiently operate a network of, si of sites across Nigeria. Participants in the program will be able to accelerate their personal and professional development through intensive classroom training 
uh, facilitated classroom training facilitated by uh, our in-house faculty extensive e-learning and and the likes you can look for the requirements these are the requirements you must be uh, you must have graduated with a 2-1 in elect elect engineering so, so this program you will actually go through the training and then after going through the training you'll be keep you'll be equipped with the necessary skill and then you can actually be their staff they may employ you and you may also gain network you may actually have you you, you will surely gain network you will actually have a lot of experience to actually uh it, that will actually enrich your career in this program and then going forward we also have the women-led social entrepreneurs enterprises from across mena plus africa so hear me now as little program to grow your social enterprise and increase your impact it's actually designed for women-led social enterprises focusing on building impactful solutions in culture mindset education and education the program is almost entirely remote and online and so accessible to companies across MENA plus Africa, including Armenia. So they will help you grow your business through a three-month program driven by Bloom's project-based learning methodology and work-class support. So they also uh, they, are, they also support your business. They also, this is, they, they can read to it. These are the eligibility that you have uh, revenues of considerable that these are the eligibility already generated or ne already generated revenues or have considerably considerable user and all product traction are economically viable in the long term and and the likes so you can also each enterprise will get a two thousand two thousand dollar grant to support the enterprise needs and potential impact you have access to training mentorship and other support during the three month accelerator program so you have lifetime access to bloom's resources and EME now network of entrepreneurs including mentors investors alumni and staff and you also have demo day demo day exposure and other investor connection uh, connections so it's actually good for women if you want to do so these are just the app the procedure you fill out the application form you sign up and attend the uh, open house data events when if your business is shortlisted you will go to a two-week sprint and then 10 teams will be selected for the accelerator so these are the timeline so this is what you will get and these are the open house events so that's actually very good for women and then going forward we also have the legislative mentorship initiative for nigeria if you actually want to learn about uh, legislative mentorship public policy you can actually learn it you can apply it's actually nigerian based so the what you will get training programs and projects season speakers facilitators and mentors internship with mps job placement and exchange programs so it's actually for nigeria so these are the selection criteria you have to be an hnd or a degree holder a citizen of the federal citizen of the federal republic of nigeria you have to demonstrate leadership skills and engagement in public service and willingness to come into the values and full program of the lm high and your age must be between the age of 21 to 35. so these are what you will learn these are the modules everything that you will learn you will get a certificate of participation as well so it's actually very good for nigerians and then the next one is actually shakti the empathy project which is actually for women as well so this is it so this is this what is step uh, is actually shakti the empathy project is an incubator program for early stage women-led enterprises created creating a social impact it is run under a non-profit trust c3 c3 collaborate and create change with 12 a a and atg certificate so this is it and you can go for how to apply this is the, this is the website this is the duration for the program is six months so you uh how do i you don't need to pay anything we will get money at the end of the program the program creates funding and they give you funding and network opportunity for the participants so it's actually a good one for women over there and then going forward as well we have the imf youth fellowship is actually uh, the 2022 IMF Youth Fellowship Program gives young participants the chance to join the IMF at the forefront of the response to the world's economic difficulties and become a part of the global effort to build for to build forward better. So you can actually read this is actually an international monetary fund uh, project whereby uh, these are the application criteria. You must be an entrepreneur or participating in start tech or content creation and are contributing to independent platforms not with the uh, uh, expertise in international studies so you just have to go there this is the application form you just put your name and then these are everything you need your nationality and then you write some few words statement of purpose introduce yourself your interests and motivation to participate in this fellowship so it's actually one of the it's actually one one that everybody can actually uh, apply so that is it for uh opportunities that you can apply to and the link are also in the in the comment section where you can use to apply for these opportunities and 
I will actually be posting more content like this on my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the hub for everything you may need as an entrepreneur. Skills development, website development, uh, video editing skills, digital marketing skills, and everything, almost everything, motivation stories, success stories, and everything you need to know and you need as an entrepreneur. So that is it for today. Thank you very much. This is Entrepreneur Hub.